Hi again, it's Izzy Dixon from Well Organized Marketing and today I would like to talk to you about the importance of um, crafting a good headline for your blog. And I'm going to start with a statistic today. So did you know that um, out of um, five people, only one person is going to read on after they've read your headline? Now that's an average. Um, on average, 80% of people click away once they've read the headline. That is because most headlines are not written very well. If you want to improve um, that statistic, you have to improve uh, your headlines because you, you, can have, you might have written the best article on the planet if your headline doesn't invite readers to read on you've written it for nothing and you really don't want that. So you have to make sure your headlines are spot on. Um, that can be done in many different ways. Um, there are lots of formulas that, that you can use, but make sure that um, at least you or somebody that you show the headline to says, um, yeah, I would, I would click on that. I would keep reading. Uh, if the headline is, is sort of, uh, yeah, it's a bit good, it's a bit interesting, but it wouldn't make you read on. Think of something better. Um, think, for instance, of a how-to headline. Is there anything in your article where you can create a how-to headline where you can draw people in? How-to questions are often asked by people who want to know how things are done. So that is a great tip on how to do that. See, I did that, how to do that. So yeah, your headlines are super important. Um, I've, as usual, written an article about the subject and I'm linking to it in the description with some tips on how you can improve uh, your headlines and also a few more facts about headline, headlines that you might find interesting. Um, with that, uh, I'll leave you for this week and I'll see you again next week with the next uh, blogging tip. Goodbye.